is another afternoon summit. It's uh, Benequali behind me, Golf Mike Echo Sierra 065. Um, there's nothing remarkable about it. It's a one point summit in Aberdeenshire. I've just got a hike across the field here and up a quad track to the summit. The main aim today is to get FT8 working for SOTA using a Raspberry Pi computer and an Android tablet. It's been tested at home, but never on the hill, so hopefully I'll show you how to do FT8 and digital modes on 20 metres and perhaps even on the 2 metre band this afternoon. All being well. It's a bit breezy, so probably a good day for non-voice modes. The route up Benaquali here is really simple. Uh, the grid reference for the car will be on the video in the description and uh, basically you walk down a track for 100 metres, turn left and head up the side of this fence line hopefully finding a quad track at the top of this I'll turn right onto the track it takes us to the summit Well, I'm most of the way up Benaquale Hill in Aberdeenshire, a simple walk, another breezy June day and uh, it's not about the hike today because this is one and a half kilometres of pretty straightforward walking um, on decent tracks but I'm going to be uh, attempting some FT8 and uh, showing how we can use digital modes portable uh, with my uh, Raspberry Pi and my uh, Android tablet and my Yesu FT857. So we'll get it set up, we'll try it on 20 metres first, and then we'll have a go on 2 metres and see if anyone's around on that. But I got to get to the top first. Well, I'm already liking the look of this. A summit with a wall. And it's a strong southerly wind, so I will be taking some shelter and then getting set up. Okay, I have the mast up. What we have in this box here is a Raspberry Pi 3 with a UPS on the bottom with the two lithium batteries in it. I could have powered it off the radio battery, but I would have needed a buck converter, and this is just a cute little package. A Raspberry Pi 3B uses a lot less power than a Pi 4, and it's got a fast enough processor to handle uh, this WSGTX software. This is um, an interface, um, radio to PC interface, it's a Mini Pro SC, it's brilliant, it just works. And then I've had to bring cat lead to go between the Raspberry Pi and the um, radio and a data cable to go between the radio and the Mini Pro SC. The Mini Pro SC connects to the Raspberry Pi with a short USB lead and that is pretty much it except for my tablet. So the only really extra thing you're bringing is this to do data modes. Um, I guess for me it's the tablet because I take paper notes, but a lot of people use tablets to uh, to log anyway. So I'll get it hooked up, and then we'll have to change some of the settings on the uh, FT857 because last time I was out I was using it on um, on voice on sideband. Okay, there are a few other settings specific to the Yesu FT857. I've got them written down here. Uh, for reference. So this radio is fitted with a, a ceramic filter. I have to make sure that's turned off and I have to make sure that uh, auto gain contr auto control is uh, manual or fast. I have to turn off um, any um, anything that's going to reduce the amount of signal coming in really. So any dynamic noise reduction. I uh, turn off the processor for transmit and I turn the RF power down to 
uh, 10 watts for this. And then, when we actually go into the menu of the radio, um, I've got the radio set to digi mode and I want PSK 31 upper. And that should be it. Next step is to uh, turn on the Pi and the tablet and get a virtual hotspot going. Okay, so I've got the virtual hotspot set on. I'm going to go into VNC viewer. Off grid field Pi is the device in question. And that is us now looking at the Raspberry Pi through the tablet. Now the tablet thinks it's the 14th of February 2019. Um, we need accurate time for digital modes. There's three ways of doing this with this Raspberry Pi. We can fit a real-time clock chip. Um, we can fit a USB dongle and get time from the uh, uh, GPS USB dongle. Or the third way, uh, which is the way I'm going to do it, is to uh, use a handy little app on here. Um, which is called the GPS Forwarder and I'm going to stream uh, GPS data in accurate time from my phone uh, to the Raspberry Pi um, and in order to do that I just have to use a little uh, app that's on here called GPS Update Tool IP address is 10.10.10.10 and I use a I use a port 147 and then start the app it's got the same IP address, 10.10.10.10, .10 .10 .10 .10 port 147. It is now streaming GPS data. And in a moment or two, it will update. So we can now see the time is updated to 15.25 and 15 seconds, which is identical to my satellite controlled watch here on the 15th of June 2021. So now I can I can get rid of the keyboard. And open up WSJTX. Change the band. I'm going to change the band on here to 20 meters. I'm going to turn the volume up. And we can hear FT8 signals coming in S9 plus, and the band scopes filling up with signals. I've got Kilo One November Hotel coming in there. Hotel Alpha 1 Bravo Foxtrot, 9 Alpha 2 Kilo Sierra, and some Russian stations. Bit of a delay there as I was talking to some very interested walkers who come up here every day and wondered what was on the top. Uh, we're just adjusting the audio input on this uh, volume control. Um, I want the receive to be about 50 60 dBs. 
so we're not overdriving the input and that is now done now my grid square is India Oscar 87 which is the same one as my house so I haven't had to change that and I'm now going to just try and find the vacant space so I have to press shift on the uh, on the tablet keyboard and it looks quite busy but we'll try and find a slot in here somewhere move the screen round into a portrait direction I can still see the main information but I can have the keyboard at the bottom of the screen as well so I'm going on to the sort list on my spare phone um, because I forgot to spot myself So I'm on 14.074 megahertz, and my mode is data FT8. That's me spotted. Turn the volume up. You can hear the signals coming in. So that's DJ5YS, a German station, in the log. Well, I have to say this is a bit more relaxed than the usual operating on a windy hilltop. Just a quick run through of the setup again. Yes, Yeso FT857. Got data and cat connected at the back data coming into my um, Mini Pro SC which is connected to the Raspberry Pi and the CAT control goes back to the radio the Pi is running a wireless network the virtual network which is speaking to my tablet and I have accurate GPS data coming in from my phone simple and, but it works well, I've successfully activated the summit. I've got four or five contacts now. Um, I'm still heavily hiding behind this wall because it's blowing an absolute hooli over there. dressed today with trainers and just a t-shirt and this fleece so I may not be hanging around for too much longer. So it's June, I'm sitting here with a fleece of waterproof and a hat on, wishing I'd brought gloves. I think there are gloves in the sack actually. If I'm honest, it's not really as exciting as uh, working side band and speaking to chasers because uh, that's where it's at for me with SOTA but it's been quite intriguing to get this working portable and it is a good mode for a windy day and as my morse isn't up to scratch it's the only way I can communicate without talking of course once you've got this software and um, everything else set up on this you can use any data mode you can use PSK31 
you can use um, you know on a drag a six meter beam up here you can do some meteor scatter with msk 144 you can even do some earth to moon to earth carrying on with jt65 or some of these other uh, modes they're all on the software i guess it's uh, only limited by what you're prepared to carry to the summit all right let's try some two meter sideburn to finish the day off CQ, CQ, CQ SOTA, CQ SOTA, Mike, Mike Zero, Echo Fox, India Portable, calling CQ SOTA, CQ, CQ SOTA, CQ SOTA, Mike, Mike Zero, Echo Fox, India Portable, calling CQ SOTA from Benakwali, Golf Mike, Echo Sierra 065, uh, CQ, CQ SOTA, standing by. Oh, thank God I am out of that wind now. Right, okay, just to sum this video up. Ben Equally, nice little hill to get up, if it's not windy. It's about a 40 minute walk from the car on decent tracks. It just gets a little bit steep there at the top, but it's easy. Nice wall to shelter behind, there's a trick point, there's lots of things to guy off of, there's soft ground for tent bags, it's all good. Um, FT8 all good also. Um, I need to check the log because it's obviously electronic when I get home but I've worked over a dozen stations. Best DX being California uh, but plenty coming in from Italy, Russia, Ukraine etc, Spain. Um, then we had FT8 on two meters. There were a few sort of traces on the, on the uh, waterfall uh, but nothing much and then I tried spotting myself on two meter sideband but nothing happened there either. So it'll be interesting to see when I do upload the log how many folk chased me because I did spot myself as FT8 on the 20 meter band but uh, it'd be interesting to see if any chasers who are A interested or B managed to find me in amongst the, the very busy waterfall. So I'll check the log when I get home. But hey, just a short video of this, a little uh, Tuesday afternoon jaunt. It was mainly to test the gear and the gear worked well. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more and um, give us a thumbs up if you thought the video was okay. Thanks, I'll see you later. 7-3. Gotta get home for tea. Don't want to get in trouble. Won't get out to play tomorrow.